Cradle's State Machine series is a collection of virtual instruments designed to inspire creativity across musical genres. Each plugin offers a unique sonic palette, intuitive interface, and a variety of presets to supercharge your music production. In this video, we explore the latest three titles in the series, Chrome 2000, Psychedelic Synths, and Shadow Structures. I'll break down all the features and show you how to use State Machine in your music. When you load the plugin, it shows the home screen. The preset management is located on the top. To load a preset, select it from the list or skip back and forth between presets. Narrow down your selection using the category tags. Mark your favorite presets with the heart icon. You can save your own presets with the disk icon. A preset contains two samples between which you can crossfade using the central mix knob. Skip through the samples or load them with the drop down menu to create new combinations. The MIDI FX knobs provide quick access to essential parameters of the MIDI effects. With the Audio FX knobs, you can easily adjust the effects during your performance. While the MIDI effects are identical to all three new state machines, the audio effects have been customized for each plugin. Use the tabs on the left side to switch from the home screen to the pages for synth, MIDI effects and audio effects where you can fine tune your sound in greater detail. On the synth page you can adjust the filter, amp and LFO for both layers. Select either layer A or B by clicking on them. The colored markings on the parameter controls indicate the settings for each layer. Press link to edit both at the same time. The LFO lets you choose from four waveforms to modulate the volume, panorama, vibrato and filter cutoff. Adjust the modulation intensity for the four available destinations with the sliders. Set the speed freely or sync it to the host tempo. Fade in delays the start of the modulation. The source window gives you access to the basic settings of the sample sources. In mono mode, the instrument acts as a single voice with amp and filter note reset. In legato mode, this can be played bound. Poly mode supports up to 16 voices. The glide setting can be adjusted for all three modes. With the noise control knob, you can blend the source sample with noise. If you deactivate keyboard follow, the layer plays a fixed note. Tune the sample with Transpose and Detune. The filter module lets you choose between low pass, high pass and band pass. Shape the sound with cutoff and resonance. Shape the envelope with the ADSR controls and adjust the envelope mod depth.
Velocity sensitivity controls how strongly the node velocity affects the filter cutoff. Both controls are bipolar, so you can invert the modulation by using negative values. Adjust the amp envelope, stereo pan and velocity sensitivity of the layer in the amp module. The MIDI effects are identical across all three new State Machine plugins and include the MIDI modifiers Scale, Chord and Arpeggiator. Use the on-off switch to activate the effects section. If you lock the effects, the settings will stay the same when you choose a new preset. When you activate a scale and select a key, everything you play automatically aligns with the selected scale. Chord automatically creates chords based on the notes you play. Select the type of chord with the knob. The arpeggiator turns your chords into arpeggios. Set the time division with the rotary knob. The MIDI effects page features in-depth options to adjust the three MIDI effects. You can select the root note next to the scale for the scale effect. You can change the chord effect by adjusting the voice count, position and spread. The arpeggiator provides the most extensive setting options. Adjust the direction using Direction. If you enable one shot, the arpeggio plays once after you press a key. Set the octave range, the number of steps, the swing amount and the gate length. With the controls on the right, you can enter a specific velocity value for each of the 16 steps and enable legato. Unlike the MIDI effects shared by all three state machines, the audio effects are custom tailored for each sound aesthetic and vary across the different plugins. The homepage offers quick access to the most important effect parameters. To fine tune the effects in detail, switch to the audio effects page. Shadow structures, tilt EQ, boosts or attenuates the bass and treble of the sound. MidDriver offers six types of distortion. With the gain control, you can set the amount of distortion and blend between the dry and distorted signals. The delay can be set freely or synced with the host tempo. Higher feedback creates longer delay tails with more repeats and can lead to feedback at higher settings. High cut reduces the treble, helping to differentiate the delay from the dry sound and avoid resonance caused by sound buildup. Reverb adds space and dimension to the sound. Set the decay length, room size and pre-delay time to match your sound. Shape the reverb sound color with tone, emphasizing the treble or bass. Modulation adds subtle pitch variations to the reverb tail for a richer, smoother sound.
Magic adds a self-oscillating filtered feedback loop to the reverb for some extra vibe. Tape saturation adds the harmonic overtones and compression of vintage tape recorders to the sound for a lo-fi edge. Dial in the flutter and wow of mechanical tape machines with modulation. Where adds the sonic artifacts and degradation of worn down tape and playheads. Adjust the high frequency roll-off and tame harshness with tone. With the color switch, you can select between a modern roll-off with a brighter sound or a vintage setting for a warm, smooth signature. Chrome 2000's noise generator lets you mix in various natural ambiences, vinyl or tape noise. Adjust the sound with the Tilt EQ. As a modulation effect, you can choose between phaser and chorus with adjustable speed, width and focus. The delay is similar to shadow structures. For the reverb, the magic knob has been replaced with a switch to toggle between modern and retro modes, each with a distinct sonic profile. Chrome 2000's tape effect features a dry-wet control instead of a saturation knob, and distortion can be added separately. Psychedelic Synths features a comprehensive EQ as first effect in the chain. In addition to a tile EQ at the top, you can adjust the bass, mids and treble independently. Modulation lets you choose between a phaser and a flanger with adjustable feedback, frequency and stereo width. The reverb features only two controls for tone and pre-delay, but lets you choose from six different types. The tape effect includes a doubler with adjustable stereo width. Wound flutter can be set independently. Otherwise, it's identical to shadow structures. This concludes our walkthrough of State Machine Chrome 2000, Psychedelic Sims, and Shadow Structures. Thanks for watching and see you soon!